I'm Steve Highland, I'm from Stoney in Surrey and I'm 64 years old and this year I collect my full pension. From about 17 and a half to 21 I did weightlifting, I was reasonably good at it. Then I had a break due to a bit of an accident so and plus work commitments so the next time I went into the gym when I was 42 I broke my first world record when I was 52 and that was in chin-ups. I I have broken over 90 world records now, at least, probably more. I know it's more, but I don't know how many, I lost track now. The strength is one thing, but I'd rather be more flexible, fluent, and moving. I'd rather just be able to move freely, yeah. And I find kinesthetics and gymnastics give you that. Basically, I wanted the, the bars in here, like the, the pull-up bars, but I didn't have anything else. And then I just stem from there, and I've, I've added bits of kit to it. I've got a power jogger, which I love to death. I've got a Concept 2 rower, which I use for two things, as core work, and I use it for rowing. I've got sit-up, I've got several pull-up bars in different positions, so I've got one round the front, I've got three here, I've got other L-shaped ones there, I've got a lower bar, I've got dip bars, and I, I've got vaults that I use, I've got a uh, feet up, <laughs> my own personal version of it. On, uh, for yoga and stuff like that and basically I just adapt the kit to suit what I want basically so it's not anything that I can't make up here no amount of money no amount of goods or shackles you may have you can't buy health and fitness right you either got it or you work at it and you look after yourself you shouldn't have to be told to have fun, should you? You should just have fun, shouldn't you? I mean, you're going to have days where you're miserable. I mean, it just, it's just life, isn't it? But generally, as I said, I think you've got to get up and you've got to have something to look forward to. Because if you don't, God, that's boring, isn't it? You know, and as I said, I'm in a position now where I'm quite fortunate. I've put myself in this position where I can get up. I can, I've been retired for three years and I run a business where it was extremely stressful and extremely under pressure to do a lot of stuff and everybody said to me, oh you'll never be able to retire. I haven't missed a day of it, <laughs> not one. <laughs>